Hi, my name's Lee, and welcome to the master installation for Dictasoft 4.1 tutorial. The master installation requires access to a server via the UNC and a shared folder. So, before we start the tutorial, let's begin by creating a shared folder on our server. I'm using Windows 2003, and I'm going to create a folder on the C drive of my server called Dictations. I'm going to share this folder so my network users can see it. I'm going to set permissions for everyone to be full control. This allows people using our software on the network to be able to read and write to this folder. Okay, so I've created the shared folder. Now I'm going to come back to my workstation. It's important to remember at this point that you don't need to install this software from the server. You just need to be able to access the shared folder via the UNC. Let's begin the installation. If you have the CD, it should auto run when you insert it. If it doesn't, browse the CD, look for the setup.exe file and double click and you should get this window here. Choose your setup language and click OK. Click Next. We're doing a master installation, so click the master installation button. And here it's asking me for the UNC path. Now the UNC, pa UNC path is the shared folder on the server that we created two minutes ago. And I can make sure that this workstation is able to access that path by clicking Start Run and typing the path into the open dialog here. So we have backslash backslash grundig hyphen gbs backslash dictations. If I click OK, it allows me to open that folder and I know I can get to it. So we can continue the installation by clicking Browse, expand My Network Places, Entire Network, and expand Microsoft Windows Network. Locate your server, in which my, my case is Grundig-GBS, and there's the shared folder on that UNC. So there's the full UNC path. Click Next. Keep all those options ticked. Click Next again. The installation can take anywhere between 2 to 15 minutes depending on your network speed and the speed of the local workstation you're installing from. What the Digsoft master setup is doing at the moment is copying the installation files to the shared folder on the server. It will then create a local install of the client on this workstation which it will use as a template for a silent install on all the other workstations and we'll come to that near the end of this tutorial. So we can click next Agree to the license agreement, click yes, fill in your details, click next, click next. Because we're installing the client, we keep the destination folder as the default, click next. Keep all these options ticked, it's important to remember at this point that any options you untick during the installation will not be available during the silent install. So if we removed uh, DSS Mover and we installed this on an author's machine and they wanted to use the DSS Mover, that option wouldn't be there. So keep everything ticked and change it manually once you've done the install on the workstation. Click Next. I'm going to choose English for my documentation. Click Next. Click Next again. I won't be using any COM adapter boxes on my, net, on my workstations, but if you do have any, keep this option ticked. Otherwise, untick it, but keep USB microphone and HID device ticked. Click Next. Click Next again. All these options should be ticked. Click Next. Nothing here should be ticked. Click Next. Click Next. And again, this part of the installation can take a fair amount of time. It can take up to 10 minutes.
when we click finish the installation may take a few more moments to finish the local client installation before it runs the master, uh, sorry, the admin setup tool. The admin setup tool gives us the options to install uh, to add new authors and new transcribers, aka typists. I'm going to add two internal authors and two internal transcribers. I'm going to click the button create additional users and it asks me here if I would like to create a default inbox for pool. I would say yes to this because this box is available to all the typists and it's a central place that authors can send all their dictations to and whichever typist is available at that time can pick them up and so I'm going to say yes to that I'm just going to create the first author okay personal details name is just the name that will show in the headers and on the software uh, the logon can be either to use the person's name it can be a password or it can be the same username that they use for logging onto Windows untick show warnings and click apply and we see it David blogs is there now I didn't put capitals in the person's name so it's easy to go in and change something when you've started I just go into David blogs's personal details and I add the capitals to his name click apply and the changes are made straight away I'm going to add a typist as default the typists don't get their own inbox with Dictasoft 4.1 we have to specifically tick that option the reason being is that as default they all get access to the pool but I want Sarah to have her own inbox so I click own inbox I click apply we've added our users we've added one author one transcriber and we have the default pool inbox click close click finish and because I've installed this software from this workstation it's already installed the client for me so I don't need to do the silent install if I was to go to another workstation and I wanted to install this software I would do it by locating the shared folder on our server we need to go into the installation folder and there's a file in there called Dictasoft Client Setup. You would double click this file. You wouldn't see much happening. It doesn't tell you when it's finished installing, but you will see an icon identical to this one appear on the client's desktop when the, when the software is almost finished. When I say almost finished, when the icon appears on the desktop, give it at least two to three minutes longer for it to run the license process. Once that's finished, software is ready to use and that's it that is the online tutorial for the master installation for Dictasoft 4.1 thank you for watching